You know what I just remembered? I should have utilized this. Since I'm doing commentary alone, I forgot that I'm one of two people who own, who have possession of the Tasty Sieve soundboard. But I don't misuse it. It's a power that I treat very responsibly and seriously. Right? It's something that I take very serious. Right? I take it. It's extremely, it's like having nuclear codes. It's just in a briefcase that I don't ever open. It has been too. Look, I told you guys, commentary strats, you never say how long the break is. Ever. Because if you say how long the break is, and it's even 10 seconds longer than what you say, people in the chat room will be like, they said it was going to be 2 minutes and 25 seconds. It was 2 minutes and 32 seconds. This stream is trash. That's what everybody always does. You have to be very careful allocating your uh, your words to something like that. You have to, you can't say it. All I ever do is say, hey, everybody, hopefully you've been enjoying UFA, Dragon Ball Fighters Top 8, the Saga event, live here from France. We're going to take a very short break. We'll be back with more Dragon Ball in just a little bit. And then the camera cuts. That's all you say. It's so easy. You don't ever say how long. Even if they say in my ear, hey, it's going to be a five-minute break. I'll never say five minutes because it just immediately, it's just bad. It's never true. Because then the production, they wait five minutes like, oh, we didn't put the timer on. And then they put the five minute timer on. You know, I didn't realize how hard it was for people to do intros and outros. Sometimes I'll listen to commentary, especially com there's commentators who are excellent, who I think are like A plus or S tier commentators. And somebody will be like, hey man, can you throw it to a break? They'll be like, all right, man, uh, it's uh, the tournament's been great. We're gonna stick around everybody, be back. And it's like, what was that? What happened right there? You can't, that's like, that's the hard part. Oh, it's F word. It's F word. Let's go. Oh, he's got the poster. Hand him the poster, damn it. Dang, this man, he's up there trying to get the audience ready. Hands up. He's trying to absorb the power from the crowd. That's a good choice. I can't believe he doesn't have a Dragon Ball yet. Can you guys believe that? He's been second at Bull Saga events so far. Isn't that heartbreaking? I really want him to get a, a Dragon Ball. <laughs> Hook gang God. He about to. Damn, you guys got no no belief? Dogra got second at versus fighting. You might be right, actually. You're right. I made shit up. He got third at versus fighting. Look at this cornball. No. Walking nice and slow. My man's wearing sweatpants. Big chilling. No pep in his step. My man no sold that so perfectly. He just was like, what's good? It's your boy Hook. He's like, man, I'm cooked. Goichi is OD. That's all he had to say. Like, that was it. That was all he had to say. Oh, the Dragon Ball's right there? Ken Bogard. You guys, I think a lot of English viewers might not know about Ken Bogard. Ken Bogard just gets on the mic, and he commentates for 12 hours alone. And all he does is he waves his hands around like this. He wears his hat, and he just has the mic, walks around the stage, and he just yells in French for 12 hours. I actually don't know how he does it. It doesn't make a lick of sense to me. He's actually unhuman. He shouldn't be able to survive in that kind of condition. That kind of commentary stamina is unbelievable. There's a reason that he actually just does every tournament. I feel like if you put a commentator with him, it doesn't matter. They're just there for show. Like he actually just like blah, blah, blah. He's just going off, yelling, running around the stage with a hand mic. He's too powerful. He could solo commentate anything. I guarantee the French stream at Evo was just... Ken Bogard with every single stream open at once just yelling. And he was doing every game at the same time. Ken Bogard is so powerful that he has leaked like nine games rosters. He has like made games survive and die. He has commentated everything under the sun solo for 13 hours straight. He's too strong. Ken Bogard is like what happens when you evolve past a normal human being. He's too good. 
Somebody told me that in France, if Ken Bogard doesn't like a game, it doesn't live. It's just how it works. If they're like, yeah, if Ken Bogard doesn't like the game, nobody plays it. He's that strong. Grand Finals. Ken Bogard's like, I've never been a fan. Kill that game. They told me that's how it works. If Ken Bogard doesn't want to commentate it, it's over. This this tournament's production is insane. Whew. Is it Cell Cell? It must be, right? He must have switched. You guys were like, no more Cell Cell screams. Remember when everybody was saying that? Here we go. Grand Finals, first side, convincing 3-0. But you have to remember that in that set, Goichi uh, was playing against Hook's new team, right? The, oh boy. He was playing against the 16 team. Yeah, you can't, see that that block string he does into the, the multi-hitting projectile? You can't super dash through that because he will reaction H-perfect attack and you'll die. That's just how it works. Wow, he almost got the air-to-air -air jump L, but he lost the corner position. Nice. That was a good call-out. Cell's 2H doesn't have the most horizontal range, but he has some of the best 2H cancels in the game, right? Between perfect attack and rolling crush, like, both of them are excellent, right? Yeah, see, like that? What are you going to do about it? His 2H doesn't have far reach, but it's so strong. No! And all right. Hits him with a jumping H. Light, light. He's going to drop him here, level three. All right, everything's fine. No! All right, it was his tag. Quetzal got the hit in the corner. Uh-huh. I could hear it. That's what I get for saying the production was so good. Dragon Rush. I knew there was a tag in the cell. All right. Kill them. Damn, they cut the stream when Hook, when Hook started beating Goichi. America cannot win here. Oh, man, he missed the combo. You see the way Hook played? Like, Hook is so interesting to watch because, oh, if he comboed off that, I would have actually, I would have flipped my desk. This stream would have cut. It would have looked like the production just a second ago. Oh. <gasps> That was almost sick. Jumping L. Did you see the reaction? Jump back L to be nice and safe, right? The orb for Oki. That's a nerf slash buff you got in the patch. It didn't used to be that that did that, but the orb will now pull you out of the corner in certain scenarios, which meant that Hook's air dash pressure he tried uh, to do in the front ended up going behind and it whiffed. 31 level threes. Nice block. Run up tag, common common choice, right? And in this game, hard tagging is so strong. Yeah, mix up in the front. That baits throws, it beats people tagging. Jump eight, yeah, jump back H is like, it's one of those moves where you just get clipped. Spend level one again, and then the level three, that'll do it. First game is looking pretty good for Hook here. Yeah, Bardock, I think, is, yeah, the strongest character of this version still. Super Dash. He tried to Super Dash to get out of the uh, homing projectile, but Hook's Super Dash just happened to catch him. Auto-correct. Final Flash? You do it on the ground because you get better Oki, right? So watch. He can run all the way up here, and then, yeah, well, he can run right into two boots. With 2H. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. That was a perfect combo choice, I think. Jumping L check. Man, that was really good from Hook. Even though someone sparks, it doesn't necessarily just mean that they can pressure for free, right? Like, you don't just get out of everything because you sparked. And Hook and God did a good job of smothering there. He's going to try to blow through the sparking healing. Not quite. The supers didn't hit at the same time. If they all hit collectively, then he kills there, but there was a slight enough gap in between them that he healed. But a sparking gonna run out soon, which means this is pretty hard. Yeah. Sparking healing is very high, but the less health you have, the less you can earn back. 
Uh oh. What is that? What does that mean? He just hit, he put his head on the table? That's a bad sign. Goichi, it's one game. I need you to focus. Relax. Everything's going to be okay. Did you see the active frames on Standing L right there? Holy moly. All right. Yeah, Hooking God probably wants Reflect Tag here. That was good patience to not tag too early. Well, then you get it opened up for him. But you can't be too antsy with the tag, right? Oh, boy, again. What is it, 32? Empty low. Yeah, wake up reflect there is a good choice. Because you can stand block and then reflect, and if they empty jump low, you get the reflect option. Hmm. Thing about Bardock there is that up tech is always a threat from him in the corner. Yeah, good call out. Up tech is always a threat because up tech into level three, or sorry, um, Lariat is always a good way to escape the corner. So you always have to worry about that. Back dash, he was waiting for it. It's clean tag. Although, unfortunately, he has to build up the meter. Yeah, he got to regain that life while he was doing the extended key blast, but he still gets the snap. Yeah, he went low this time. He knew he wouldn't tag because last time he called the tag out so hard. He's not going to kill if he had bar there. It would have been pretty close. Yeah, Hook and God playing his main team finally. The way he plays neutral is so interesting, right? A lot of neutral or jump back L to try to air to air. Oh, he's dead. A lot of neutral and jump back L to air to air, the forward movement from Goichi. A very slow style, and I think Goichi rarely has to play other super slow players who are like as world class as he is, you know? With 6H, set up here. Yeah, that setup is either air dash into it more overheads or empty low. Nice. Oh my, that was a sick block. He should have held the vanish there, I think. But sparking about to run out. Yeah, you see, run up, jump back L is really common for Hook Gang God, right? That's his way of trying to intercept for movement. What? Air 2H. I think that was grounded 2H, but he thought he was in the air. Or sorry, he thought he was on the ground. That was weird. Ah, yeah, reversal super dash off the orb again. He has to mix up doing reversal super dash there or not, right? Ooh, walk back 2M. That's really great because he's looking for tag just in case, right? But also, sometimes you just do a staggered 2M and you kill him with uh, Final Flash because of it. He could have... Yeah, I was going to say level 1, level 1 might have done more. Or level 1, level 3. But I think he wanted to keep Cell alive, right? Oh, perfect. Yeah, Piccolo is uh, smoked. Jump back L. Yeah, see, he really wants it. Jump back L is like the safest thing Piccolo can do there. Oh my god, no. One mistake. He let him live. He was a little greedy on health and bar, and now he's going to hell zone? Yeah, set him up with a hell zone grenade. Oh boy. If he gets hit here, he's dead. Spark? Nice block. You see him back up. He was looking for tag there. What a confirm. He was too late. Vanish was too late to get the uh, wall splat. Man, what did I hear yesterday at Summer Jam commentary? The wall bang? That's what he called it. Run under. Yeah, avoid Vegeta assist. Oh my. He caught him on hit. And then you're not going to jump out of a command throw when you get hit first. Right? Like, you're not going to jump out of the command throw when that happens. Dang, he's got the, the Dragon Ball in the background. That was a sick shot. Hooking God is looking really good here. Mmm, no break. Well, the thing is, is that Hook's team is bleeding so bad that if Fujita dies for Hook, this, his team is super susceptible to getting just smoked, baited. That was a good fake out mix up. Nice, all right. He, he recognized that he was staggering and trying to find something. No break. I think he tried to 2H there. Yeah, if the problem for Hook's team here is with no sparking, his team is paper thin. He dies super fast. Great call out. Jump super dash, beat the assist call, or beat the DP plus assist. Calling uh, Piccolo is a little scary. 
Nice jumping out. Oh my god, he almost punished him. Sparking's about to run out. Nice block, no break. Oh my god, this is huge. If you extend this all the way, does he die? To a level one, level three? Probably not, right? Break is back. Level one, level three, this is so close. If not, you hell zone after. Oh my god, it killed! What does no break mean? It means when he doesn't break the dragon rush, when there's no tech on the dragon rush. Two, oh! Look at that look. Oh, come on, man, hold it together. Hook, Hook's playing so well. Goichi, hold it together. I need a set here. I need a good set. Goichi, hold it together. You're on, you're on player one, bro, it's okay. Man, I've never seen, he looks so, the thing about Goichi is that it's well known that although his defense is incredible, and although he is like a world class talent, he's a very emotional player, right? Obviously you can see it on his face. And the thing about that is that there are moments where I think his defense can sort of, if it crumbles, it can affect him personally, right? And you can see it on his face. He's one of the the most emotional players I can think of in terms of like how often he just lets it ride. Vegeta says, this mix up's whack, yeah. I think he is very personally offended every time he makes a mistake on defense. And I think that a player like Sonic Fox is good at smelling fear, and a player like Hook is solid enough to make playing against him stressful. Oh man, how many are we at, 30 something here? Spark, I'm dead. All right, 33. 33 level three so far. Jump back H, do you see how good that button is? It's one of the best keep out buttons on like a fade away jump back. It knocks you full screen. You can confirm into the vanish after. Jumping L is your intercept button for up close air to air scenarios. Jump back H is your get away from me button, right? It's what you use when you're trying to just push them away from you. Got him. Not that big though. He has to spend bar here. Yeah. Oh, it beat the tag? That does not happen that often. It's very rare that tagging loses right there to that. Yeah, nice. Big boy combo. Kills on the next hit. Spark for sure, yeah. He has character advantage, so sparking there just makes sense. LL, oh my, he almost confirmed. Nice block. Oh my god, he got the jump L right with the end of sparking. So he built a ton of bar and he got a lot of damage. Did he just run full screen and do stand, standing L? Is that what he just did? Is that what I saw? Tagging to Vegeta. Beautiful. Oh man, Hook's reads are super clean right now. Back up, yeah, play the, the Vegeta slow game, right? Call Piccolo assist, run in behind it, although he sniped it there, that was beautiful from Goichi. All right, 50-50 here, does he uppercut a 2H? Can you reflect that? You Certainly, right? I don't know if you can 2H between it, but you can probably reflect that. Orb, orb, 2H, no block that time. He tried Dragon Rush. That was a hard confirm. Cell Assist has a lot more knockback than you expect. No, Goichi did 2H. I think he thought it was going to be a Super Dash, but he should get the kill here. When he when he blocked the Vegeta Assist, he was thinking he was going to reversal uh, Super Dash, but instead he just got hit by the Vegeta Assist and he didn't confirm off of it. Okay. You see, even on his face, he's like, man, I'm making all these mistakes. Solo Vegeta with sparking, a sentence I've said hundreds of times in my life now. Air to air jumping L. Hooking God's reactional air to airs are like ridiculous. They don't make any sense. Not dead, yeah. He couldn't get the, the uppercut there at the end because he wasn't in the corner, which means that he lives. Key blast kills, that's why he's playing slow. He's looking for an opportunity to tag. Oh, super dead. Hooking God is actually, this is probably an even match, I'd say. I can't believe he was able to block that Vegeta assist. I guess it was just the jab. Mm, it beat the mash. He's alive. 
so funny in anime games, it's always the mash. It's never a reversal button, it's just the mash. They calls it how they sees it. If you're brave enough to tweet those pictures on your uh, Twitter, you're brave enough to call it a mash. 2H, oh man, you could sense it from a mile away. Mix up. I cannot believe he did that. He did jump up, Dragon Rush, that was perfect. As perfect as the timing on that subscription right between the rounds, thanks very much. Sparking available for hook, oh no. Okay, this is fine. Because you have sparking, right? You spark here. Yeah, he waited. He waited to see if he was going to try some DP shenanigan to beat the spark. 50 50? Whoa, he did H and a nothing? Oh, man. Oh, my. You got to guess. Nice run under from Goichi. Went low that time. It's always a mix up. Is it low or is it air dash into more overheads off sparking, right? I cannot believe Goichi block cross up there. What in the world? Dude, his defense is the best. How is it? Dude, his defense is the best. How does he not get hit? He wasted out an entire sparking of blocking. It's not like he was running. Oh my god, he doesn't get hit. He doesn't get hit. Rocket kick! This is huge. Okay, he has no level 3 though. One more mix up. Oh, he called out the... Dude. Dude! He's so good. Hook and God is so good. Oh my god, reset. Hooking God is so good. Did you see he knew that Goichi was going to run under him to escape the mix-up because the jump LL was too high? He air dash bag H to catch the jump back or the run under? That was beautiful. That was one of the like the cleanest call outs on movement I've ever seen. I feel exactly the same way. That was sick. Oh my god. France, I'm gonna need you to be real excited about that one. Work with me here. That was, man, Hooking God played so well there. That was a beautiful sequence. Oh no, not like this. Look, Koichi. You're the best. I need you to put those damn headphones on. I need you to just relax. Recognize your defense is incredible. Step the offense up. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, Goichi. Give me a set. That's all I'm asking for. Give me a set. Dude, if he brought out Ginyu right there, I probably would have... I would have, like, broken the window in front of me. I would have, I would have done something crazy. He needs a pep talk. The Shenmue music? Oh boy. There, dash over. Nice block. Goichi's defense is always, like, it's all reliable, right? That's the thing about him. It's very hard to open him up without some sort of crafty mix up or unseeable mix up. Look at that. Blocked it all the way out. Perfect, right? You just wait it out. Well, a sister bolt back. He gets Piccolo mix up here, which he delayed slightly. Got him. Is Europeans. They make the 2H sound so exciting. Perfect attack. I like air dash back there from Hook. Stagger pressure. Stagger pressure is good because a guy like Goichi will not challenge staggers as much as other people. Oh my god. He could have killed them both. Perfect attack. I'm surprised he didn't do that. If he did perfect attack and spark, he probably would have killed them both or gotten very close. But he gets the kill here anyway. Goichi has so much bar, man. Optimal combo. You know that Goichi is rarely going to challenge your staggers. So you just, like, stagger all day against him to try to catch his, his defense. But right there, the one time he hit a button... Yeah, Vegeta... Vegeta is not really that good for getting mix-ups anymore. And Piccolo without a really strong, you know, mix-up for the assist... He needs to run something like this, right? Oh, he wanted to look for a tag there. That's why he backed up. You see, that's why Hook backs up there. Yeah, and then sneaks in the tag by running forward to make it look like he's committing to offense and then tag. He 
you try to run under him. That's a common way to escape the corner, right? People will try to air to air you, so you just run under instead. Hooking God air to air. Nice! It's very rare that that works. You have to commit to Dragon Rush still because, you know, he's a human being and sometimes he'll miss it. I feel like when I see him get hit by it, I almost, like, I don't know how else to feel about it, but, like, yeah, I guess. Sometimes. <laughs> it rarely works. But when it does, it's like, damn, he's human. He's not as unkillable as we, th oh, my. God, Super Dash is not human, in fact. It's a robot built to destroy neutral. Alright, Miss Combo. Air to air jumping L. He ran so far. He ran. Oh my. And he's back dash. Yeah, he's looking to call the tags. The movement from Hook is beautiful, right? He's doing a really good job of mixing between offense and defense. Man, oh man, oh man, this is big. All right, Goichi, this, this is looking more like he's up to form, right? Dragon Rush here. Spend some meter. He gets double level one, he's dead. Oh my god, he missed the call. Everything's fine. You saved the bar. You saved the bar. It's all part of the, it's the long con, right? It's the long con, no big deal. He has to block there. I'm surprised he didn't 2H. Under the cover of Vegeta Assist, there's almost no reason not to, but he played it safer than, you know, he had to, and I think that's okay. Well, he's going to force Hook to guess whether he baits the sparking or not here. 35? 35 level 3 so far. Yeah, force the spark, safe jump it. He gets under the Vegeta assist there. Air dash cancel. Man, he missed the mix-up. This is rough. Opening up... Um... Goichi enough times here to like kill him is really tough. What the hell? I don't know what happened. Yeah, nice challenge. He overstayed his welcome well, by holding the vanish there. Boom, boom. Vegeta assist. Dragon rush. Nice and easy. Kill him. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, first game of the reset goes to Goichi. Man, oh man, he still looks a little stressed about it. It seems like he has recovered a bit though, right? He did a good job of surviving those offensive onslaughts a little better. I think he's also recognizing when Hook is... Nice. Bardock assist. I feel like Bardock assist hits Hook way more than every other assist. I don't know why. Just because it's so fast. It challenges all your forward movements. And when it comes to Hook, he's good at running. And he's good at taking up space, and that is just a really long, uh, horizontal grounded assist. That's why it gives him issues. It restricts grounded movement. All right, he's out of there. And he called he called the uh, Vegeta assist because he knew he was going to side switch, and he would have it in the corner. That was really nice. Oh, the tag. Did you see that? He thought he was going to get the air dash on block. Doesn't matter. Dude, that Goichi emote is buff. Whose is that? Cloud? Did Cloud ask him for that? He had the hit to kill Piccolo there. Nice defense. Yeah, okay, that was the first time something was thrown off uh, in that series, right? That was the first time where he threw something weird. Oh no, that's a big drop. Well, he got it back. So, Hook and God already used sparking, which is why he has so much meter. Level 1 sparking really doesn't give you much besides meter generally, and that's what he asked. Like, that's kind of what he got here. Level 1, level 3. If you can get one kill with sparking, it's you, level 1 sparking, it's you. Okay. Okay. If the. What do you mean? <laughs> he air dash four. <laughs> what do you mean? Like I don't understand, dude. I actually don't. I know in his head he's like, I'm OD, bro. It's so obvious, but like, come on, bro. You don't air dash. You don't do ID energy field as a mix-up and just beat the sparking. Just hand the man the Dragon Ball. 
Just call this tournament over. I I was unsure. I didn't even know what to say. Okay, mix up here. DP, he didn't get a safe jump. Oh my god. The not so safe jump. Demon elbow. Everything Piccolo does is the demon something. Oh, reset. That's one of those things that like, it shouldn't work as often as it can, but it's great. That's a big drop. That was a big opportunity. He doesn't die for it. If Hook loses, there's truly no justice in the universe. <laughs> Come on, man. It's one read. Everybody make... Uh, it's a pretty good read, though. Oh, he baited the reflect. Dude, it's like... It was like Summit when he ran up and did that level 3 to beat the sparking. This is a very even match. I mean, they have the same characters, very similar health. Oh, man. The lazy boy jump back L. I want to watch them play like a first to a thousand. What? What happened there? Yeah, nice. Go up there and chase him. Where was the combo, though? That's unfortunate. Oh, come on, bro. I know it was a good mix-up because it hit Goichi. Yeah. Whiff. Oh, it was blue! Oh, my God. He lost? He just lost his character because of that, right? Oh, no. He didn't tech out of the combo. Why does that happen so much to Goichi? Why does that happen so much to him? Oh, staggered low. Why does I always I feel like he gets hit by so many blue combos? Blue means you could have teched out of it. So it's not a real combo. If you hold a button while you're being comboed, you'll tech out of non-blue combos. That was a crucial block. Because he got neutral back. Vanished. Yeah. Wow, no reflect. Oh yeah, of course you can't do that to Goichi. He's gonna be ready to DP. That was a clean bait. That's some of the cleanest neutral that you need to do with uh, Vegeta, right? Air dash over. Oh my. He has to try. You see how he has to try like next level big brain mix ups against Goichi? That makes you overcommit sometimes, right? You jump over, super dash, like to try to bait stuff. Nice jumping L. He's going to take corner. Yeah, that's a better choice. Next hit kills for for Hook here. He ran out on wake up. Oh, God. Late vanish to keep him low to the ground. Extend with the key blast in the air and a big bang. It's not going to kill. Oh, no. Jump back, L. Don't get hit. Oh, God. Don't get hit, Hook. No, oh, super dash. He did the jumping L to try to beat it. Oh, man. He tried, he tried jump back L to beat it. He should have DP'd. He should have DP'd. Well, he, he was probably not even looking necessarily for Super Dash. He said, what's, did you see his face? He said, what's the score? <laughs> He's asking what the score is. It's like 2 0? That's OD. <laughs> no, don't ask. Don't ask for a side. Shut up, chat. You can't bait me like that. Okay, okay. Someone give an abacus. Could you imagine if someone showed up to a tournament set and, like, just had an abacus that they kept up there to keep track of the score? That's a good gimmick. With 6H, this mix-up's messed up. And also, you want to kill Piccolo. Yep. So right there, you can delay air dash, or you can just go empty jump low. And so, both of those is, like, really hard to deal with. Yeah, he's getting chewed up. His Piccolo's getting chewed up anyway. Dragon Rush. He has so much bar. Command throw. He has four meters. I think level one, level one, level three. Yeah, boom, boom, big bang. Nice. Perfect. That was beautifully done. The exact combo you need. You need to build four bars there. That's the goal, right? Because this team has access to double level one. I mean, triple, technically, in a weird way. 
Mm, that was an empty jump low mix up that ended up just being a combo because Bardock assist. He has been hit by Bardock assist so much. I wonder why that assist always hits Hook. I feel like it just connects. Like, he got hit by it a lot against uh, Galileo as well. Man, he's chasing. He's headhunting. He needs Sparking to count here. He's going to run under. No, see, backdash this time. That adjustment from Goichi was beautiful. That was so beautiful. He's He always runs under, right? And uh, Hook getting God to recognize that like four times. So this time, he backdashed, knowing, like, okay, he's going to try to chase me the opposite direction. That was great, like, that was great conditioning uh, from Goichi. Yeah. This is uh, this is looking pretty grim. Do not get hit by 2M or you're dead. You have to kill Bardock or you're going to get TOD. It's not a perfect. It could be a hood perfect, but it's not a perfect. This game is very strict about perfect. He can't open him up, dude. What are you going to do? He just won't crack. Oh, my God. How do you open him up? In the front, yeah. That's a good mix-up. You TK the uh, M Lariat there, and it looks like you're going to air dash over. Mix-up, empty low. He wanted 2M because if 2M hits there, he TODs, and he's dead. He gets sparking, kill him, he's dead. Oh! <gasps> Okay, he missed it. Light Light was too tall. Oh, he vanished into it. No, Hook Gang God. After resetting 3-0, gets smoked. There it is. A Dragon Ball. The three-star Dragon Ball to Goichi. All right, he has a Dragon Ball. He's on the board. So... Our three Dragon Ball collectors so far. It's perfect. I love the three people that I've gotten Dragon Balls. Kazunoko. Sonic Fox. Goichi. This is Goichi's third time, by the way, being in top three of a Saga event in his first Dragon Ball. So it's two Japanese players, one American player so far with Dragon Balls. He gets the three star. Man, look at on his look at his face. He's so like you can see how emotionally draining it is to him. He's an emotional player, man. This means a lot to him. Hook's like, man, that's OD. <laughs> his face. He's just like right on the Twitter. He's like, I got cooked. <laughs> oh man. That was a great set. There are some really good adjustments from Goichi. The main one is like that situation where you're doing light, light, light in the air, and then Goichi was always like running under. That one time, Hooking got air dash back. He's like, all right, I'm gonna catch him running under, and then Goichi does back dash. Perfect. That was like the that was the moment you could tell that Goichi learned from what was happening in the set and made the like mental switch and was like, this is exactly what I'm gonna need to do. That was beautiful. This, this tournament is so big because Saga events win you a Dragon Ball, and that's it. You have to win the event to qualify. There's nothing else. Oh, man, got it around his ear. That was a little tough. He should have said, I love France. Oh, he! I forgot he used to take French. I forgot about that. Apology Man has, like, really broken high school French, right? Perfect. I look at the chat room. I see it. Apology Man's on stream, and I'm like, this is great. Congrats to Apology Man. I look at the chat room, and the first thing I read is, God, he makes me sick. <laughs> it's just the first message in the chat room. It's just so vile. <laughs> it's the first thing I see. It's just like immediately... <laughs> I can't help but smile. It just hurts. It hurts my face. Oh, man. Did he ask him how it feels to destroy Americans? Damn, that's brutal. Damascus holds nothing back. What did he say? Oh, wow. Damn, Galileo. All right, I see you. And he gave him the thumbs up. He's like, I meant it. When I said I'm coming for you, you better protect your neck. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Man, we had to go from English to Japanese to French to English to get there. That was a crazy 
Telephone. I wonder if he actually said it was a great tournament. It was great to be here. And like it just through telephone. It just got off. <laughs> oh man, it's just like he said something extremely nice. I love America. It's one of my favorite places to visit. Everybody's very nice. <laughs> oh man. Hook gang god second place. He's gonna say Goichi's OD. I got cooked. I like this little mini interview uh, ceremony kind of thing. This is cool. That was a pretty good answer. Let's go, Hook. That was solid. That was a solid answer. That was much better than what Hook from like four months ago would have answered. I played it really well. I'm happy with my play. I'll come back stronger. So many players just can't be trusted with a mic in front of a crowd. <laughs> Is that their Goichi chat? That was cool. Alright, we got a nice camera view of that guy's butt. That was cool. What theme is this? 38? Is that our final Bardock level 3 count? Congratulations. Dang, there's stuff on the stage. Confetti? Awesome. This is a really great tournament. Thanks to UFA. UFA had an awesome tournament. Thanks to Ben and Namco for letting me restream. Thanks to UFA for having an awesome Street Fighter tournament yesterday and a fantastic Dragon Ball tournament today. This tournament was really well put together. They did great. 